Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Democracy 3. We are going to retry playing through Democracy 3 with the brand new electioneering DLC as Brexit Britain. That's right, we've got... Got the brand new mod installed, electioneering, allowing us to change a whole bunch of stuff to do with the election. And fingers crossed, fingers crossed we'll be much more successful this time. We are of course going to be the Brexiters. Brexiters. And we are going to be going up against the Remainers. There we go. Fingers crossed that this uh, that this goes slightly better than the last attempt. If you want to check that out, then you're more than welcome to. My name is Obed Potato, by the way. Did I say that? I can't remember if I did. I'm too excited. I want to jump into it. I want to play. Okay, so something that we can't underestimate is how important it is to get rid of all of these bubbles ASAP. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a potentially controversial position, and I'm gonna say fuck our deficit. Fuck our debt. Let's concentrate on the real social problems rather than the financial problems. So community policing, zero political capital to raise spending in that. That's fine. Uh, policing as well, very, very, very little political capital required to do that. Uh, that's that's fine. That's good. Alcohol abuse, we want to try and fix this if we possibly can. However, I think we probably need to prioritize something else. And that something else is food stamps. Food stamps, very, very cheap, very, very good at reducing poverty and uh, increasing poor earnings and showing that we're compassionate, which is lovely. That's really good. That's exactly what we want to be showing. Uh, vigilante mobs, we should be able to decrease pretty well. That's fine. Uh, we also probably want to increase intelligence services just by a bit, or even to the max, I guess. Uh, it's going to reduce organized crime and normal crime just by a little bit. And that should really get us off to a good start in the polls. I mean, people are not going to be a big fan, or some people, capitalists most especially, are not going to be a big fan of the fact that we have a deficit. But... We can, we can do a couple of little things that, uh, that are going to make the capitalists happy. I think the next two turns, we're probably going to devote to making the capitalists happy, uh, considering that this turn has been pretty much resolving a lot of social issues. Uh, something else that we should probably do is we're probably, as you probably noticed, we've got an alcohol abuse problem. Uh, we're going to increase alcohol tax to... Well, actually, alcohol consumption, what is that affected by? somewhat affected by poverty um maybe we hold on and just change the alcohol law rather than the tax level because the tax level would shoot poverty up and we're on course at the moment to shoot poverty right down like really really well and if we introduce free school meals then it's going to go even better um yeah you know that might actually be a good idea just to hold on to well we don't have any political capital to, to, to hold on to right now but i think you get what i mean you get what i mean we're going to be moving ahead and in a very strong position i feel uh poverty holy cow that is a great 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 decrease in poverty and i think it's actually really important that we get off to an early decrease in poverty um because i think that's going to lay the foundation for uh, a lot of stuff that is that is going to happen uh, homelessness needs to be resolved and one of the ways that we can do that is through the reduction of poverty but more importantly and perhaps even even just as importantly no just as importantly and perhaps even more importantly uh, unemployment needs to start coming down the way that we fix unemployment in my humble opinion as much as you want to put uh, investment into uh, you know uh, unemployment you know you can you can invest a heck of a lot you can you can you know employ a lot of people as the government uh, in public services you can do that but at the same time if you don't have a, a strong economy then you're not going to have any private sector jobs that are uh, that that your that your population can actually uh, achieve so it's it's going to be all about improving the economy from here on in we've we've dealt with a lot of the social problems and we will be seeing over the next couple of turns a reduction in all of the social problems that there are however we need to start addressing the economic problems most notably the deficit and most notably the fact or and also notably is the fact that our gdp is 
terrible, great, well, terrible, great, great, terrible, terrible, great, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, we need to, to make it grow consistently, even though the global economy is going to be shrinking. We need to be the standout economy that is growing through this recession. And we absolutely are going to try and do so. Uh, the technology backwater that's affecting GDP, that is a problem. Uh, science funding, you look like you could get a nice little boost. We are indeed going to do that. That's actually going to reduce unemployment by 2%, give or take. It's not much of, uh, of value right there, but hey-ho. Uh, productivity. What can we do to increase productivity? Actually, not much. Not much, as it turns out. Uh, we can improve health. Improve health, alcohol consumption. Uh, well, we can reduce alcohol consumption, improve health, and improve the fact that we've got an ongoing asthma epidemic. As in, we can improve the environment a little bit. Yeah, let's improve, yeah, this. You know, once again, we are going for the very, very, very perhaps naive, fuck our deficit, fuck our debt. We can deal with that when the economy is good again. Um, maybe not, maybe not the most appropriate approach to take, but if we were, if we were a country that has just left the European Union, I think that it would be very, very bad to just, you know, sit back and, and just, and cut all of the money, cut all of the money, just, Cut all of it. We, we don't want it. We don't want to cut back on anything. So uh, instead, we're gonna we're gonna put some money into some stuff, and that's the way that it's gonna be. How are people liking us? Uh, there's no members yet, so I don't expect there to be any money. Uh, it looks like my opponent has already managed to raise a little bit of money. Um, we want to try and appeal to this guy uh, so that our donors are making us somewhat wealthy. Uh, we want to make farmers a little bit happier, so let's bump up agriculture subsidies. Capitalists aren't going to like it, like us for it, but uh, but agriculture subsidies, coincidentally, are a pretty darn good source of uh, of jobs, and we can we can uh, we can make this guy a little bit happier if uh, if we if we change that around. Uh, if we want to, we can do a couple of media stunts. I don't really feel the need to do that right now. But I think perhaps we will we will have to look into that very, very soon indeed. Let's go to the next turn. Stop and search. Liberals love me. Yeah, let's introduce Paris to stop and search. That's fine. If liberals love me, I can introduce stop and search any day. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Unemployment down by a quite substantial amount. Crime down again. Wow, that's a that's a, a pretty not noticeable decrease. And poverty continuing to fall. That's really good. Like that is really, really, really good for us. Uh, we're we're raking in the political capital. Twenty four political capital per turn. Uh, on the second or third turn is not actually an unimpressive amount. Usually, I'm a lot more unpopular by this stage in the game. So there you go. <laughs> there you go. Um. Alcohol consumption we can actually change by adjusting the law if we wish to do so. Hmm. I think we might actually change the alcohol law. Let's not change the tax level because the tax level is going to affect poverty. If we go into here, alcohol consumption... Uh, alcohol tax, which we were just on, but whatever. Uh, the higher the tax, the more the poverty, and I don't really want to see that increase to poverty again, since we worked so damn hard to get rid of it. Uh, so socialists are fucking loving us right now. Capitalists, not a huge fan. That's not a problem. Let's let's try and improve their perception of us. First things first. Absolutely, let's get rid of uh, limit automated trading. It's it's simply not good enough. It's simply not good enough in the slightest for us. Uh, and we want to get rid of it. Uncompetitive economy still trundling on. Technology backwater should be coming into effect as soon as uh, science funding is fully deployed, which is lovely. And the good news is, is that since we pursued all of these policies a lot more aggressively than we have in, in, in the last attempt that we had, I feel that it's happening a lot quicker, right? You know, all of the good stuff is happening before people can start hating me, which which is which is quite good. Uh, yeah, we need to probably introduce some policies that capitalists actually like. So, business startup campaign, sure, it's basically free. You know, 364 million, basically free. 
Debt protection law, we are going to allow the agencies to operate. Socialists love us as far as I'm concerned, so we can roll with that. Uh, we've actually managed to shrink our deficit, so that's actually really, really impressive. Uh, mostly due to the fact that GDP grew. But if we can continue to stack up those, uh, those GDP growths, then we're going to be in a hella good position. A hella, hella good position. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's always something, isn't there? Well, health is down a little bit. We'll see why in just a second. Crime. Wow. Off a cliff. Mostly because of the superhero. A 20% decrease. Uh, and their credit rating has been upgraded, which is fantastic. And that's actually a really, really, really good endorsement for us, right? Because... Quite frankly, we didn't pursue a particularly uh, a particular set of policies that was designed to make capitalists happy. We went for a set of policies that stimulated the economy and invested more in the economy, and it just so it just so happened that it uh, it turned out to work. But hey ho, uh, Doctor Strike, what the fuck is this, uh, and why the fuck is it happening? I, I I don't know. This is this 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 graph literally looks. Like, uh, what do you think? A beep, beep, uh, like a heart scanner thing. It literally looks like well, that is that is quite impressive. Like, holy shit, holy shit, that is that is very impressive. Doctor Strike. But fuck me, holy cow. Uh, why is the state health service is? I I don't understand. Like, what is the problem here? Doctor Strike. Okay, so we need to put more money into our state healthcare service, is that it? Okay. Let's let's wait a turn, see if that fixes itself. Um it's not it's not it's not affecting that much. I mean, I know health affects a, a bunch of stuff, but it's not affecting that much to be honest. Productivity is going to take a little bit of a hit for it, but that's that's okay. That's okay. It's not not a problem. Uh the good news is that, you know, People are actually starting to like us and fingers crossed some of these social problems start to disappear and we actually start saving a little bit of money. That's quite nice. Back to a, a rather large deficit, but at the same time our deficit is going to get bigger next turn as well. So we're going we're gonna to go down in GDP. GDP is going to go down. Not great, but vigilante mobs. Uh, vigilante mobs are ending next turn. That's really good. That's really, really good. And that's going to have a knock-on effect. Ghettos are going to start to go down. Really, really good to see. Uh, street gangs are almost finished. And street gangs give a 40% boost, a 46% boost to ghettos as well. So so we're, we're going to be able to get rid of ghettos pretty darn soon. Lovely to see. Capitalists, not exactly fucking loving us at this point, but they're not exactly hating us either. Well, I say hating us. That's that. I guess that's a matter of perspective. Small business grants. Let's introduce this. Absolutely need to boost to GDP. Boost to uh, to uh, to the good old the good old capitalists. Socialism membership down and capitalist income increased. Great. It doesn't particularly make that much of a difference, but there we go. Uh, anything else that we really want to introduce? Probably one more thing. That's the one. Young Entrepreneur Scheme. And, yep. It's going to make capitalists absolutely love us. Absolutely love us, I tell you. Okay, let's have a quick little look. No members quite yet. Opposition activists are actually going down relatively fast. That's quite nice. Fundraising. We've not seen any fundraising uh, operations quite yet farmers happiness is going up and religious happiness is going up as well i don't know when we get money i don't know what we can do with the money i have no idea whatsoever but uh i'm i'm in it to win it so we'll see what happens uh let's launch this event i am now compassionate there we go media spin success i am super compassionate uh, a strong leader, we do not have enough political capital to actually do anything, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks, but hey-ho. Uh, release tax returns. We could release our tax returns. 75% success chance. Um, yeah, let's give it a shot. There we go. Look at that. You see? We're trustworthy. That Yeah, of course, of course, of course we're trustworthy. Yeah. Let's go to the next turn. 
Of course we're trustworthy. Vigilante mobs has ended. Whistleblower, uh, reform the Secret Service. Let's reform. There we go. Uh, voting intentions, pretty darn good as well. I, I I accidentally clicked on that. I'll I'll I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna try and pretend that I did that on purpose. Uh, crime, holy cow, crime is going down like there's no tomorrow. Poverty still decreasing. Really really nice to see. Unemployment going down at a slow but healthy pace. Uh, the economic forecast for the world is grim, and our GDP is also not great. However, somebody clearly had uh, a little bit of faith in me since we got that reduction in uh, interest fees here. Uh, oh, the reduction in the interest rate. I mean, our interest rate is not exactly at, at the rate at, at a place that I want it to be. I want our interest rate to be a lot better, but uh, thankfully, it's all fine. There's not much going wrong in the world. Speaking of not much going wrong in the world, let's have a little look at the intelligence briefing. All hunky-dory as far as I'm concerned. Not too much going wrong there in the slightest. Uh, the doctor's strike, unfortunately, is an ongoing problem that we are going to have to resolve. Do we just, do we just wait this out, actually? Do we just wait this out? I think we might, actually. I think we might just wait this out. I, I, when I say waited out, I, I mean perhaps until we've got a little bit more money. Hmm. Let's increase expenditure to 52. It's an, it's an increase of about 7 billion. If that doesn't do it, then I, I don't know... I don't know if it's worth investing uh, more money. Uh, alcohol abuse is starting to go down. Alcohol consumption is starting to trend downwards. That's lovely to see. Uh, we can adjust the alcohol tax if we want to. I, I really don't want to. I really don't want to see that increase to poverty. That's really not what I want to see. But we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Street Gangs has ended. Fantastic. Credit rating downgraded. I had a funny feeling that that was going to happen. It got a little bit, a little bit unwieldy, our, our deficit, and uh, as such, our interest rate has been increased. GDP not looking so darn good, but that's okay. Not going to worry about it. Yeah. At least crime is low, right? At least crime is low, and most people like us. So we're not guaranteed to get elected, but a lot of people like us, as you can see. Apart from capitalists, capitalists never fucking like me. Because I, I think it's balanced, uh, you know, in a way that, that capitalists don't really like you. But in, in my personal opinion, in my personal opinion. But at the same time, who knows? National Business Council, let's introduce it. Boom. Capitalists love me. We've still got a very, very large deficit. We've still got an uncompetitive economy, which is taken a little hit thanks to uh, productivity being so low. Technology backwater is starting to starting to be solved. Uh, homelessness has almost resolved itself because unemployment has been decreasing for so long and so has poverty. The, 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 way, the way that we go about getting unemployment down further is without a shadow of a doubt growing our economy. It's got to be. GDP is giving an 80% boost to unemployment. That that just can't be allowed. That just cannot be allowed. It absolutely cannot be. And I, I don't know if uh, if I really want that to, to survive. Uh, ghettos is going to be going down really, really soon because street gangs and vigilante mobs both have ended. So we're going to see 70%. Uh, well, no, higher than that, actually. No, about 70%, about a 70% reduction to ghettos, which is going to take it more than below the stop trigger, so it's not going to mean a damn thing. Uh, alcohol abuse continuing to fall, which is kind of crazy. I, I haven't really changed that much uh, to do with alcohol consumption in a while, actually. But hey-ho, I guess. I mean, we only changed the alcohol law. We didn't really change anything else, but good. I'm glad to see that that's going down. Uh, organized crime should be falling, I guess. I don't really know why it's not falling any further. Uh, there's probably, there's probably, um, there's a policy that I'm forgetting that, um, that, that will, there, there is a lot of policies that I would imagine that probably reduce organized crime. I just can't remember them off the top of my head. 
Uh, police drones, maybe, I guess. If that's something that you're interested in, police drones. Uh, nothing here is going to reduce... Is going to reduce, uh, what do you call it? Armed police might be worth it. Might be worth doing. Uncompetitive economy really needs to be fixed. And we're going to have to look into it in the next episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for watching this episode of Democracy 3. Playing, of course, with the electioneering DLC. We haven't really mucked around with it too, too much. But I feel that as we draw close to the next election, it is only going to become more and more and more and more and more essential to get elected. So we'll definitely be using the DLC then. Thank you very, very much for watching, ladies and gents. And I'll see you next time. Bye.